I'm appalled by the fact that it has been a year since you sat before us last, and the only change regarding the situation at the southwest border is that the situation has gotten much worse. This administration's lax policies and opening the borders not just allow immigration to occur, it has opened the floodgates for nefarious activity and burden the DS agencies that have the responsibility to respond. This just isn't affecting the border, but it's also affecting local and state law enforcement all across America, not just border states. Pretty powerful comments right there coming from our next guest, grilling DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas yesterday on Capitol Hill. That was Mississippi Congressman and member of the House Committee on Appropriations, Stephen Palazzo. Congressman, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Um, great to have you on the show. I, I'm, I'm wondering what your take was on Secretary Mayorkas' performance yesterday and some of the comments that he made. Uh, not only did he blame this on the previous administration, but he said that, that his team has got the situation at the border under control. His performance was, um, you know, great if you were just allowing him to lie through his teeth about the border and about the previous administration, about he's effectively managing the situation. Um, if he's, he's basically effectively uh, destroying our, our the safety and security of our nation. Um, you know, you, you, you've had so many conversations I was listening to about fentanyl. Um, you know, and we're talking about we can handle the women and children. We can process them. We can, you know, return them to their home countries. But what really concerns me, as it did with that public safety officer from Texas, was the nefarious activity, the transnational criminal organizations, the cartels, the human tra traffickers, the drug traffickers. Last year alone, they seized 11,000 pounds of fentanyl. And we're talking about we've had record number of overdoses last year, and right. many of those were directly related to fentanyl uh, drugs. Do you think it's, uh, so when we look at what the Biden administration has done uh, during their time in office, basically it's it's bad policy followed by the courts getting involved. We saw it with Remain in Mexico. Um, we saw it with the eviction moratorium. We saw it with Title 42. Who knows if that remains, um, that Louisiana judge uh, doing that, saying Title 42 has to stay in place. But but do you think that that is, is going to be how this plays out ultimately with Title 42, because this is not good news for Democrats who are running for re-election in November either. Well, it, it's not. And, you know, when I was on the border last May and the, the Border Patrol agents were begging us to keep these policies in place. So I don't know, understand what Mayorkas was saying about they inherited a dismantled system. I felt like we were securing the border. We were much safer when we had the policies that were put in effect under President Trump and the Republican Congress. Um, so I don't know where he was getting his inf information from, but Title 42, the Remain in Mexico policy, the wall, more boots, technology. We need all these things and we need them now to, to protect and uh, you know, secure our border and protect Americans. So when Donald Trump's last full month in office, December 2020, there were 44,000 encounters at the southern border. Last month, the month of March, there were 221,000 encounters. So that's a difference of 177,000 people crossing the border. This crisis did not exist on Donald Trump's last day in office. Let's be clear about that. Yesterday, Secretary Mayorkas said he's got a, a six-point plan to solve the crisis. What, what is his plan? Well, we, we got that plan the day before the hearing. We haven't even had a chance to digest it. I mean, he's talking again. He, he, he's talking out of both sides of his mouth. And we don't you know, if you want to plan, you know, what I would do is I would declare a national emergency because this is truly a national emergency. I would deploy tens of thousands of National Guardsmen down there. I would I would remove the posse comitatus or I'd suspend it so they can engage in police powers and secure our border because our Border Patrol, they're overwhelmed. They, we had two million apprehensions last year, and the car, you know, we're not, we, our border's not closed. We don't control our border. The car, cartel does. And we need to send every app, apps, every resource that we could possibly muster to the border, and we need to do it now. Yeah, they want to roll back Title 42, but they're pushing Democrats for a new COVID-19 bill. Um, just right. ridiculousness on Capitol Hill. Uh, I know that, yes, I know that Secretary Marikers will be back testifying today before the House Judiciary Committee. Um, keep us posted on that, Congressman Stephen Palazzo. Good to see you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Rob.